I found my way to the aqueduct and it's about five minute drive and here is the parking parking is uh, free and let's see if I am here by myself it looks like the uh, nobody comes here so this will be my final destination in Tomar to visit so before I uh, end this video I said let's go and see this uh, this great aqueduct and it's actually there is somebody there and they allow you to walk here here on the actual aqueduct but you have to be very careful Tomar, Portugal. Today is my fourth day here and I just started filming today. I decided not to film in the last three days. I took a break from YouTube and today I say why not just uh, do this video for memory so I can remember what it was like when I was here in this beautiful town. So basically I am walking now toward the uh, the main square and this is the uh, main shopping uh, street I would uh, I think and at night uh, this place is really happening and it looks uh, beautiful at night with the uh, with all the lights and everything and the weather today is very uh, decent not windy and not uh, raining so it's, it's great for uh, for doing a YouTube uh, video so what I am trying to do is to go to a very famous monument here called the convent of Christ and that is uh, considered one of the finest monument in uh, in Portugal and Tomar city is uh, is located between uh, Lisbon and Porto so if you are uh, driving from Lisbon this would be uh, a perfect uh, place to stop by on your way to Porto to take a break from your uh, road trip so basically it's about uh, two two hour uh, drive about two hour drive from uh, from Lisbon and you can do a lot of uh, day trips from uh, Tomar if you base yourself in Tomar for a few days you can do uh, a day trip to uh, to a lot of uh, beautiful villages uh, and towns one of them is uh, Obidos and the other one is a beach town called Nazare and many many others you can check my uh, my videos to see what uh, what kind of stuff I did in this uh, region so I'm approaching now the main square there seems to be uh, some kind of construction going on here is the main square and now I'm gonna go all the way up to a beautiful castle and the whole place is called the convent of Christ we will go there and explore it and here is a, there is a bunch of uh, restaurants and keep in mind that uh, here most restaurants do not uh, accept credit cards so so bring cash with you I just noticed that uh, a lot of places do not take uh, do not take credit card it will be a good idea to ask before you even uh, enter the restaurant you don't want to eat and then 
you uh, give them your credit card and then they say, oh, sorry, we don't take credit card. You don't want that to happen. Here is the entrance to this monument known as the Convent of Christ and it's a bit of a steep hike it took me about uh, what 10 minutes to hike from the main square that you saw earlier and here seems to be the parking lot right here in case you are uh, driving but in my case I did not uh, drive because my hotel is not that far from where I am it's about 15 minute uh, walk from the hotel and I might show the hotel uh, at the end of this uh, video seems to be a, a group school group going on here I would imagine this place would be a little bit uh, busy because it's one of the most uh, popular historic uh, sites that you would want to visit if you happen to be in this uh, region there is a lot of history behind it that, that I will uh, cover part of it if not all look at this wall it's spectacular it really is this is dated back all the way to the uh, 12th uh, century so Tomar is famous because of this magnificent uh, complex known as the convent of Christ and it's a huge complex which is regarded as the finest national monument of uh, of Portugal and the uh, and it was the uh, religious home of the Knights Templar I'm not sure if you heard about the Knights of uh, Templar the Knights Templar I should say you can google it and that was from 1119 all the way to uh, 1312 uh, and later the Order of Christ you can also Google that, the Order of Christ, from 1319 all the way to 1834. So as you can see, there is a lot of history uh, behind this uh, huge uh, complex that I am uh, exploring now as I am filming. And let you uh, explore it with me if you are still uh, watching. So basically it was originally uh, a 12 uh, I have no idea what it is. But I think let's uh, they're going to cover what they've got. There. Let's go there. It's a little, a little bit uh, grab it here. So it was basically a 12th century uh, Templar stronghold that was turned into the Knights of uh, the Order of Christ in 14 in the 14th century. What a beautiful uh, building right there there seems to be a walking path right there that allow you to uh, to walk along the uh, this uh, wall this is similar to what I did in uh, where I forgot in Obidos yes you see I've vis visited many villages that I forgot the name so Obidos it's about an hour drive from uh, Tomar and that's a very very beautiful uh, beautiful town and I walked on the wall so the whole city was uh, is actually surrounded by a big wall and I hiked that wall so if you are staying in uh, Tomar you can do a day trip to 
Obidas also to uh, to uh, Nazare and to uh, a city called Fatima and many others and it's really really uh, cheap it's not that expensive I just got a really nice meal for about uh, 14 euro 14 euros including the uh, the drink it's not that uh, it's not that far so I'm gonna try to go all the way there is a walking path all the way that takes you I'm not sure where it's gonna take me so I am exploring because I don't know this complex this is the first time I'm, I am visiting and I am leaving tomorrow tomorrow for uh, Porto I'm headed uh, north to explore the area around uh, Porto and I'm not sure if I'm gonna film Porto or not I haven't decided yet we will see depending on the mood if I am in the mood I will do a, a video of uh, Porto and the surrounding area it's really beautiful down here so the whole uh, the whole uh, trail is to myself there is a small group of people from the United States I heard their uh, their American accent and uh, surprisingly enough when they saw me holding a camera this is kind of, kind of funny holding a camera and talking talking like without script they thought that I am uh, I know about this place they came here they came toward me and they said sir sir we have questions for you and I said okay so um, what's your question I thought they're gonna ask about the camera or what am I doing or is this YouTube stuff they actually asked me questions about this place they thought that I am uh, some kind of a guided tour or not I said I'm not I don't know I don't know anything about this place so I just uh, this is what I usually do I, uh, I read Wikipedia my phone has a cheap good deal uh, international plan that I can uh, serve the internet and uh, and uh, and it works everywhere I go so I read uh, the Wikipedia page before I visit the place so that I have something to uh, something to talk about you know when I do my uh, videos but I don't like to read from uh, from a script or anything like that so let's look at the view from here not a nice view but I'm sure I will get a better view right there once I go uh, a little bit up so I, I read the main facts and that's it I don't go into details because I don't need to uh, to dive into the details because this is not a history uh, channel by any uh, by any means this is just for uh, I'm doing this for fun and in doing so I let people who are exp planning a trip to uh, to this uh, city see what I am going through so they get an idea as to what the the whole adventure is uh, is like instead of uh, watching uh, drone videos with a bunch of uh, music in the background because those kind of videos do not uh, are not really helpful to uh, to the regular travelers like me so I am just a regular normal traveler like those people who, who ask me and I told them I don't know I am just uh, visiting just like you not uh, a guided tour but anyway this is uh, I think I found my way to the top and uh, let's see let's go up uh, let's go up a little bit and uh, I'll take a break from t talking see I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the, this uh, this tower is for I try to go to the main ticket office but for some reason the way to the to the ticket office is closed 
due to construction but there is another way to get to it that I'm trying to find out where I should go Wow what is this place I'm still wandering around in this uh, isolated area it looks like it's an abandoned area I'm not sure if I'm even allowed to be here or even safe to be here I hear a lot of uh, dogs uh, barking just a little bit earlier and let's see uh, I saw an aqueduct beautiful aqueduct and I think it's part of the uh, of this complex but there is uh, another view of uh, the aqueduct and I will be allowed to walk on the aqueduct and I think that's the only aqueduct in Portugal that that they allow you to walk on it but it's a little bit far from here I have not uh, looked at it on Google map we will we will do that later but you see here there is a beautiful uh, view right there you see if I pull raise the camera right there you see the uh, the I think this is the beginning of the uh, of the aqueduct and this gate is closed but it offers me a view of the part of the aqueduct right here you see looks like there is a, a viewpoint right here wow look at this it's really incredible it really is and the uh, the whole place is to myself I am the only one here and you see that the aqueduct is connected to the uh, to the building part of the building and later I will go to the actual aqueduct and I will try to walk on the aqueduct because I think they allow you to uh, to walk on the aqueduct but that's not where the aqueduct starts for the tourists for the uh, visitors so I'm gonna try to find a way to get there but I'm sure it is not that far from here we will see how to get there but I uh, I'm really in love with this uh, with this view right here and you look at this uh, abandoned uh, old uh, castle right here You see that uh, lady over there? I'm not sure if she works there or not, but I was told that I cannot get there due to the maintenance work. But they look to me that they are uh, tourists. They don't look like uh, workers. So I will find a way to get there. I'm sure the view from there is way better. Let's go. All right, I found my way to get to the other side. And it looks like this is the official entrance but the main path is blocked due to the maintenance so I had to take an alternative route to get here and ladies and gentlemen this is the uh, ticket office if I'm not uh, mistaken right here this is where I'm officially allowed to enter from here get inside you 
see now the place is to myself there was a group of people that just left and now I am uh, by myself but I'm gonna find the uh, the balcony there I'm sure the view from the balcony is uh, is beautiful Wow, incredible, it really is. See, I am by myself right here. It's uh, spectacular, it really is. So if you're planning a trip to Tomar, and if you do a search online, and definitely you're gonna see the term Convent of Christ complex, and this complex is huge, it has many sites within the same complex, like you saw the, the garden earlier, and also the cloisters and the church and the refactory and the fence and the walls they're all within the same complex and also the uh, the aqueduct the aqueduct starts from this uh, complex and goes all the way to another part of the town but to get a view of the aqueduct, a good view of the aqueduct, I should say, I might need to drive a little bit for five minutes so that I can uh, walk on the actual aqueduct. And I will go there later after I fully explore this, uh, this place. I think there is a balcony right there where I was standing, uh, I was standing across uh, from this building earlier, and I was wondering how to get to uh, how to get to uh, to that place. Actually, I was gonna I was gonna trip. This is very slippery, as you saw. My 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 voice uh, suddenly changed because uh, I was gonna fall. The floor was a little bit uh, wet. And here is the, uh, you remember, you remember when I was uh, standing right there and I was wondering how to get to uh, this place. And here I am right now, standing right here, right next to the, uh, to the first part of the aqueduct. And you look at this uh, Moorish uh, style window. It's really, really beautiful. Tomar was under uh, the Moorish uh, rule, I would, uh, I would imagine. There is a lot of history behind uh, this uh, region. If you are into history, I would really recommend you, uh, you do some reading before you uh, visit, uh, visit this magnificent uh, place. So this is the garden that I was walking through uh, earlier and I need to uh, to see what's up there it was a little bit uh, busy earlier because of the uh, the uh, tour buses they all come uh, together and then I usually wait until they leave because it's uh, they're annoying when they come in a big group it's uh, it's a little bit annoying too many people and here is the uh, the aqueduct that I'm gonna visit later. This is part of it right there. And I visited the aqueduct of Elvas 
all the way in Alentejo uh, area you can check out that video I really recommend you uh, you consider visiting uh, Alentejo region because it's it's full of uh, full of uh, history and earlier I was there I walked all the way to the other end of the uh, of the wall Wow I've got the run of the place the whole room is to myself You know, this place is huge. It never ends. I, I thought that uh, I'm almost done because I need to go to visit the uh, aqueduct. But uh, a lot of uh, rooms and cloisters to, uh, to visit. Looks like there is more uh, to explore, and you look at this. Uh, looks like it's a, a well right here. Scary here. This is the uh, underground. I think I'm gonna leave this complex now. I really need to go to the aqueduct. Enough of this uh, place. Let's go see the aqueduct. I found my way to the aqueduct and it's about five minute drive. And here is the parking. Parking is uh, free. And let's see if I am here by myself. It looks like the uh, Nobody comes here. So this will be my final destination in Tomar to visit. So before I end this video, I said, let's go and see this, uh, this great aqueduct. And it's actually, there is somebody there. And they allow you to walk here here on the actual aqueduct but you have to be very careful wow it's really really beautiful it's 
so I think it's uh, it's about six kilometer long and it has about 180 arches and the aqueduct was one of the uh, main public works built in the uh, 17th century in uh, Portugal so I'm trying to be very careful here because I'm gonna point the camera down there to show you what happens if I fall you see and there is some water on it let's go and see it check it out right there and there is some water there so basically you can walk all the way all the way down there if you want but I'm not gonna do that And here is some information about the aqueduct. You can pause the video and read if you are interested. And let's see here. Let's get a view of the uh, the aqueduct from uh, from this corner. Let's see if I can catch a, a, a good uh, a good view from here. So basically. Actually, it looks better if you uh, keep going down and uh, capture a nice, uh, nice view from down there. Because walking uh, up there is a little bit scary. If you uh, suffer motion sickness or vertigo, it will be an issue. Here is the hotel I'm staying at. It's called Tomar Boutique Hotel. And this is the parking right here. It's free parking, but it's a little bit tough to find a parking spot here. So I found this uh, hotel. I got a good deal. It's like 65 uh, euros per night, which is not uh, that bad. You will see the room. I'll show you the room right now and they also serve a good uh, good breakfast buffet and there is construction uh, going on as usual This is the room, it's a queen bed, and here is the balcony, right here, it doesn't have view, but it's not that bad. We got uh, desk and TV, and let's see the, uh, the bathroom, nice shower. Nice sink. And see that is the parking lot that belongs to the hotel. But I'm not sure if it's secured or not. I don't feel comfortable leaving stuff inside the car. So you have to be careful. And there is a guy there that is trying to help people find parking and then he's expecting some kind of tips so be careful make sure you give him tips otherwise he might scratch your uh, your car you look uh, she's giving him uh, a tip because he showed her that there is a, a parking spot available 